Welcome to our video tutorial on citing a resource from Google Scholar. This video is for method 2. We're going to download a data publication file and export it to EasyBib. If you have not watched the first video with the copy and paste method, please take time to do so so that you can see how to sign up for our paid version of EasyBib. You have to have access to the paid version through our school in order to do this step. Let's get started. All right, once we have registered for EasyBib with our Chattahoochee coupon code and created a project for this assignment, we need to open the bibliography. Now let's go to Google Scholar and let's take a look at the resource that we want to cite. We're going to click on Cite, but instead of doing the copy and paste method that you learned in the first video, we are going to download a data publication file that's known as a .ris or RIS file, and then we're going to send that data into EasyBib so that it can read it and generate a citation. Let's click on RefMan. So once we've clicked on RefMan and it's asked us do we want to open or save it, let's select Save. Now let's go through and let's open the folder so that we can see where that is sitting at. What you want to do is to copy that file and put it in a location where you can find it. For most of you, that will be your home directory. In the interest of time, I'm going to throw this onto my home directory, or excuse me, my desktop. All right, now I'm going to close that out, and I'm going to go back into EasyBib, and I want to again go to all 59 options. But instead of pasting a citation, I want to go to upload a citation. So I'm going to browse and go get that file, and I'm going to look for that scholar.ris. You can always rename these, by the way, if you prefer to. Just make sure you keep the .ris extension. I'm going to open that. I want to make sure I'm importing it into the correct list, and I'm going to press import. It's going to think for just a minute. Then we're going to press reload to update. And now it shows me the status is completed, and I'm going to say show me that in my bibliography. And now I have that resource added. If you need assistance with any of your Google Scholar citation entries, please see Ms. Hamilton, and she will be glad to help you. In closing, please try to use this method whenever possible, because as you can see, when you go to edit that entry, you have the ability to work with that publication data a little bit more so than you do than when you have copied and pasted that entry. And again, to update or edit an entry, you just press edit. And then to save changes or to simply exit out of editing mode, update the citation. Again, thank you for watching our video tutorial.